my name is Dr. David Schiller and I'd like to welcome you to my weight loss webpage. And in just a few short minutes I just want to review with you how we would go about taking care of someone who would like to lose some weight. Most of the time people coming to my office have stubborn weight issues. I'm not talking about the simple case where they can't exercise more and eat less and they're losing weight. Because if that was the typical problem then there would be no obesity problem in this country. The fact that remains that people are working out to death they're eating less and less, they're calorie restricting, but yet they can't lose the weight. So it's a lot more than just doing that formula, because if it was, then we wouldn't have a problem. So what you have to do is you have to recognize that there can be many different things going on, and for the most part, if you look at any chronic problem, whether it be a, a, weight, a weight issue, or whether it's cardiovascular disease, or diabetes, or osteoporosis, or Alzheimer's, or any other issue for that matter, most of them have issues with inflammation. So when it comes to evaluating someone who has a weight problem, we do have to look at the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are the stress glands. They help regulate blood sugar, so these two things go hand in hand. And if blood sugar is imbalanced, you're going to have surges of insulin, insulin being a fat storing hormone. So one of the main concepts are to find out the balance between fat fat storing hormones. If your fat storing hormones are working harder than your fat burning hormones, you're going to hold on to weight. But adrenal glands are the stress glands and the stress can come in not only emotional forms but physical and chemical forms. But the idea is the adrenal glands will come to attention with any number of things, whether it be old injuries or whether it be the fact that you're de depriving yourself of sleep or whether you have um, issues with stress in general the adrenal glands, if they're pumping out a lot of cortisol, which will shift blood sugar, then causing insulin problems and insulin surges, you're going to get a fat storing mode going on in the body. So that's one concept. The next is the thyroid. The thyroid is the gland that is the master gland of your metabolism. It can be affected by many different things, the most common being an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. I have dozens of posts on thyroid function. Go look for them, and I can go into a lot more detail than I'll go here. Just know, with thyroid, you'll tend to, to carry weight all over. You'll have brittleness of nails, uh, hairs falling out, outside of the eyebrows are getting thin. Uh, you can have issues with depression, issues with cravings, etc. You could have issues with any number of functions related to the thyroid because the thyroid affects everything. It affects the brain, the bone health, it affects the digestion. So people that have constipation tend, can have thyroid problems. People that have high cholesterol can have thyroid problems. So the thyroid needs to be looked at as a single entity to determine whether it's functioning okay or not. Thirdly, there's going to be issues with the liver or GI tract. GI meaning gastrointestinal, how you extract food, are you getting the nutrients out of the food, majority of your immune system lies in the GI tract, so is there a good amount of bacteria balancing your immune system? They make vitamins, they help balance the immune system. The liver is the, the hub of your digestion, so if there is digestive issues, is the liver functioning well? The liver is also activating thyroid hormones. The liver will deal with cortisol, which is the stress hormone. The liver is helping balance blood sugar. So you can have these effects going back and forth. The thyroid will affect adrenal. The adrenal affects the thyroid. So these things need to be looked at. In general though, the liver is activating all your fats, fat burning hormones. It activates growth hormone. It activates the thyroid hormones, which are fat burning hormones. So the idea is you have to look at all these things. Lastly, are there other hormone issues? Are there issues with estrogen or progesterone? Are there vitamin deficiencies? Um, are there issues in the male side with testosterone? Both estrogen and testosterone will only work well if the blood sugar is working well. So if you've looked at any other parts of my website, you, rec you know that everything can affect everything. You recognize that the function of the body is what determines your health. And we recognize that, okay, you have a weight problem, so what? What is the underlying issues? What is the function of the body? And you're treating that person, not their diagnosis. So the idea is you have to look at the entire function of the body, recognize that everything affects everything, and then get to the bottom of how the body's functioning. And that's how you're going to get rid of this weight issue that you may have. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Look for my other posts. I have plenty of other posts on weight and how all these different factors. I discuss these things separately so you can look at those posts. So I'd like to thank you for watching and make it a great day.